Hello everyone, I'm John Caputo and thanks for tuning in. As a real estate agent, I regularly get asked about strata subdivisions, which can make you a lot of money. Today we're talking with Peter Greigel from Metro Strata, who knows a lot more on the subject than I do. Peter, as an agent, I see a lot of people selling their properties incorrectly, with sending out the wrong information, e.g. It's subdivisible, but the agent hasn't advertised it as subdivisible. And that can cost the seller thousands of dollars. So to ensure they're marketing their pro property properly, what steps should owners take? Well, I think, John, you're, you're absolutely correct. People do make some big mistakes in this area. And imagine if you had a site where you thought it was potential only to create a single additional dwelling out the back and what if you spoke to a professional in the area like ourselves and found that the property was capable of supporting two additional dwellings or that if we were to knock over the original older house you might even create four. You wouldn't want to let that type of opportunity necessarily just slip through your fingertips and if you were to you'd want to make sure you were getting rewarded appropriately for that. Absolutely and so Peter you'd recommend with myself not to just rely on the council's opinion? Uh, absolutely, John. I've found quite often that the council, through no fault of their own, are issuing advice that maybe isn't necessarily correct. They tend to answer a question exactly as it has been asked and I do find with councils it's a really big mistake to just accept the first bit of advice given, whether it be a yes or a no or any particular answer. You do want to follow it up with a few more probing questions just to ensure that they've actually taken the time to fully understand the inherent potential of your site. So then you'd encourage, obviously, people to consult and ask a builder. Absolutely, John. <laughs> yeah. I guess the, the difference with us is we're, we're not a public servant, and no offence, but yeah. uh, we do take the time, and this is what we do. This is what we do every day. We try and look for that additional opportunity inside of any block, which really, finding that little pearl, that gem, is the secret to a successful development. Thanks again for watching another episode from caputo.com.au. Make sure you go to my website and subscribe so you receive the latest real estate tips and advice. See you next time.